He's a rational investor. Dividend digester. Saves some numbers paycheck just like all his ancestors. ancestors. Him looking for high yields? That's never the case. He's seeking 6% return. Slow and steady wins the race. We pay our debts in our currency. That might be unfurled if it's no longer the reserve currency of the world. Confidence in the dollar is permanent. Just ask any scholar. People are exchanging their dollars for dog money. Dog money? Dog money. Dog money. We trading it in for dog money. Dog money. Dog money. Dog money. Dog money. I'm putting it all in dog money. Yes, indeed. Some people are putting all of their money into dog money. Welcome to Satoshi's Bitcoin Chart Show. This is the Bitcoin forecast, the strength of the system, the health of the network, where we find out what's up with what is going down. Today's date is Saturday, the 24th of July, 2021. Let's be gone and jump straight into these figures. Here we go, rock and roll. Let's get a clear view of this. Here we go. So starting from left to right, we've got CoreCoin, we've got Bcrash, we've got Bitcoin, which is the original protocol, making it the real Bitcoin, the true Bitcoin, the genuine Bitcoin. And then we've got Amory's Fisher Price Cash on the end. Hilarious. So uh, going through the figures on CoreCoin, we've got hash rate 98.8, network nodes 93.5. But look at this, transactions 19%. Is that it? Remember, this is the Mac Daddy. 19% of the transactions is that it? and only 4.4% of the block size. My goodness me, I mean, what on earth has gone on here? Maybe uh, maybe Pete McCormack can explain this for us. So uh, Pete, can you tell us what we're looking at here? Bitcoin is so different now from when Satoshi was here. Really? But I mean, Bitcoin started out as a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system as designed by Satoshi Nakamoto. I mean, how far away are we from that now? It's a completely different project. Really? Well, I mean, are you saying it's not a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, what would Satoshi have to say about that? It doesn't matter who Satoshi is anymore. Seriously? Well, I mean, he's still around. I mean, what if he came back and said something? Like, what on earth do you think you're doing? Even if Satoshi came back, I don't think he would just be immediately welcomed as having this God-given right to decide what happens with Bitcoin. I think he would have to earn his right back into the project. But really? Earn his right back into the project? But you just said it was nothing like it, and it didn't matter who he was. I mean, why on earth would he want to come back in? And what's Bitcoin based on it? What is Bitcoin based on now um, if it's not a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system? Bitcoin is 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 the sum is is built by, based on consensus now. Uh, you don't sound too sure about that, Pete. I mean, uh, are you trying to tell me that it wasn't based on consensus before? Did you even read the white paper? Like, what on earth is going on? Let's have that one more time. Project Bitcoin is 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 the sum is is built by, based on consensus now yeah yeah nah don't believe you mate i think you're talking shit <laughs> so uh that's why there's no uh, hardly any tra that's why the transactions have gone down and the block sizes are absolutely pathetic um so then we've got a uh, b crash over here so uh, roger can you tell us about your expectations of your centralized project and yeah, we're going to really spread bitcoin crash across the entire country here in antigua yeah <laughs> good luck with that one mate and what do you say to all those uh, you know, huge multinational companies who conduct billions, if not trillions, of dollars of uh, global trade on in you know on an uh, on an annual basis that say they need a regulatory compliant monetary system in order to do so? The ones that say that the blockchains all need to be legally compliant about everything all the time, uh, just go use your Visa card. <laughs> Are you joking? Yeah, like that's going to work. Good grief. And so uh, we've got the original protocol here, which is uh, the genuine Bitcoin. So we'll just have a word with uh, Craig Goshi Nakamoto, the uh, the creator of Bitcoin. So Craig, can you tell us you your expectation of uh, of Bitcoin? Sort of like you know, uh, in a nutshell, what is it you want from it? I want Bitcoin not to go up to ten thousand or hundred thousand. I want it to be worth millions per Bitcoin. Sounds exciting to me, mate. I mean, when you strip everything down to it, is that it? That's it, and that's what we spend money for. Person. Loving that. Well, let me help out and I'll stick my foot right in. Yes, indeed. So look at this hash rate 0.29%, 1.3% uh, of the nodes. But look at this. So 0.29% of the hash rate um, is uh, is processing 73.9% seven, uh, of the transactions and 93% of the data flowing through the chain. That is just absolutely huge. Bitcoin is ultra efficient. It is one of the most efficient systems on the planet. Absolutely love it. So let's have a uh, let's have a quick look at these block sizes uh, flowing through the chain. So uh, 
let's have a quick chat with Michael Saylor because I do love his enthusiasm every morning. So, uh, Michael, can you tell us uh, what's your opinions or what do you say to all those people that are like Peter McCormack who are, are wanting to uh, change Bitcoin from its original design? What do you say to that? I like Bitcoin the way it is. Yeah, good. Yeah, well, so do we. But I mean, we really like it. How do you compete with that? In fact, in fact, I love Bitcoin the way it is. All right, mate, calm down, calm down. Well, you can't just leave it there. You're going to have to explain yourself. What is it about Bitcoin that you love so much? The way it's currently constructed, it is possible to put all $250 trillion of monetary energy. Whoa, $250 trillion of monetary energy. Where's that going to go? In big blocks of encrypted energy on the blockchain. Well, they do sound like big blocks. What sort of numbers are we talking about? Maybe the Bitcoin will be a million. You can probably calculate $10 million of Bitcoin or something. Whoa, $10 million per Bitcoin or something. I mean, how's that going to fit and where's it going to go? Big blocks, $100 million chunks on the blockchain. All right, well, let's have a look at these big blocks and see what we can see this morning. Here we go. Shout out to a stubs up joining me from uh, Hawaii. Great stuff. Right, look at this. So 21, these are megabytes. Loving this. 21, 16, 67, 26, 35, 1, 2, 11, 24, 2, 21, 6, 6, 2, 51, 24. Oh, look at that. I was wondering if we were going to go down the entire column uh, with the megabyte blocks there. But uh, via BTC had to spoil the party, didn't they? Yeah. Um, 13, 14, 131, 7, 5, 15. 12, 64, 24, 1 and 5. Look at that. We have only got two blocks under a megabyte. And they were almost a megabyte mined by via BTC. Look, at the data coming through here is absolutely phenomenal. Loving what I'm seeing there. And uh, Amory with his Fisher Price cash. Yeah, still struggling to get over a kilobyte. What a joke. Um, and uh, Bitcoin, uh, B crash. Let's see what they got. So they got how many blocks over a megabyte? 1, 2, 3. Is that it? Four, five. Oh, they've got five blocks there over a megabyte. And uh, CoolCoin, look at this. How many blocks do they have over their puny megabyte uh, limit? Of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, is that it? They've only got twelve blocks. Good grief. <laughs> Watch this space, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned. Bitcoin is coming through. Yes, indeed. It's going to be undeniable soon. So this is hash rate. Hash rate follows price, follows value, follows utility, follows creativity, initiative, and intelligence. If you are intelligent and you apply creativity and initiative, you can make something useful. When something is useful, it can then create value. When it creates value, it can then develop a price. When it develops a price, it can then be measured against the cost of other goods and services and used as a medium of exchange. Boom. Let's move on. Uh, proof of work by network. Core coin. B crash. Fisher price cash will fall into their own footprints because that's what Ponzi schemes do. B crash Bitcoin hash rate, who cares? B crash Bitcoin proof of work, who cares? It is 2,000 times cheaper to transact on the Bitcoin network than CoolCoin, which is cheaper than any of these alternative protocols that have no fundamental value in them whatsoever. It's currently 1% more profitable to mine on SV this morning. Oh, surprise, surprise. wonder if people will be moving their hash rate over. It's 0.9% more profitable to mine on B crash and 1.8% more profitable to mine on the Fisher Price cash. That's hilarious. <laughs> So uh, let's have a look at the daily average Bitcoin block size by network. So let's have a look at this in proportion. Look at this. Look at the trend line on that. Absolutely fantastic. Very excited every time I see that this morning. Just going to go up and up and up. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, daily Bitcoin transactions by network. Yep, starting to romp away with it. Transactions per block by network. Loving that. Uh, daily average Bitcoin fee. So this is fees in the block. Uh, fee Satoshis in the block, uh, block reward to block fee ratio. Again, percentage wise, we'll just monitor that with time. Here we go. Daily accumulated Bitcoin blockchain growth by network. Let's have a look at this. Here we go. Yes, it's pretty good. Let's move this along. Where are we now? Always get excited. Look at that parabolic shooting up. 425 gigabytes. Let's see how far in front we are. 71.7. We're literally almost going up by like a gigabyte a day, a gigabyte of data per day. Love it. Love it. Absolutely amazing. It's starting to absolutely rocket away with it. Totally rocket. That's what we want. That is what we want. 
All right, let's get into the politics then, see who's doing what, because we know that none of these shitcoin enterprises have a clue what Bitcoin is. Global hash rate seven days, a global hash rate 24 hours, gonna look similar to Core Coin, yeah. And B crash, oh look at that, Hathor spoiling the party for these B crashes, that's absolutely hilarious. You know, making sure they don't get the juicy, uh, juicy profits they want. Uh, daily, so this is uh, Bitcoin, oh look at this. So via BTC, desperately trying to spoil the party. Yeah, thanks very much for that, reminding us that they were the only mining operation that mined a block, two blocks, under a megabyte and they were only literally um about five yeah about five to six kilobytes below a megabyte each so we almost had the entire column of uh, megabyte blocks there had it not been for via btc being a bunch of numpties good grief uh, sv pool on nine percent loving that um f2 pool trying to get a look in today and we got uh, amory's fisher price cash there absolutely hilarious but uh, look at this. So the reason we're trying to get all these shitcoin enterprises off the chain is because the only thing they understand is price manipulation. The only thing they do is dollar worship because they don't understand what Bitcoin is. So let's have a look at the manipulations in the short positions right now. Here we go. Excellent. Here we are. So start off at 90. We'll probably be about 92 soon. What a joke. What a, Can you imagine the turn of events when they realize it's going to be absolutely epic? And uh, CoolCoin... Here we go. So started off at the beginning of the month, 4.5, where are we now? 4.9 still. It's doubled from where we're used to seeing it, which is around 1% to 2%. Dear, oh dear. Dear, oh dear. All right, and uh, Bitcoin Blocks Live, here we go. So for any newbies watching this, watching this for the first time, the vertical rectangular blocks moving across the top of the screen are the transactions being recognized by the nodes on the network, and they're recognized instantly the moment the transaction is broadcast because Bitcoin is an ultra-small world mandala network. It means as the size of the network increases, the density of the links goes to zero, making it ultra small world and highly sparse respectively. It also leads to an improved topology against malicious attacks because the network always picks itself up. It is absolutely phenomenal. So uh, once these, uh, once the transactions are recognized by more than 50% of the nodes on the network, instantly they're then thrown into the memory pool, which is where they're competed for by miners and payment processors in order to create a block, put the transaction within a block, and then place the block on the blockchain, which is when they're rewarded with the Coinbase data, otherwise known as the block reward, otherwise known as freshly minted Bitcoin. And look at this, there is a 255 megabyte block on chain this morning. Look at that. So in the highlighted rectangular box below that, we can see uh, the hash of the block, the block height, who it was mined by, mined by unknown size, the time, the date, the transaction count, and total fees in the block. And that was mined at 3.25 this morning. Wow. Wow, it must have been just below the column we were looking at. Absolutely sensational. It's kind of dwarfing these other blocks. I mean, look at that. That's 173, 132, another 131. Good grief! It's making these uh, making these blocks look tiny. Amazing, amazing! I love what I'm looking at. Let's have a look at the movers and shakers quickly in the charts. See if there's uh, any changes. No, that's all. Right. Always worth checking. Uh, to, do you honestly think that seven transactions a second on a purposely restricted block size is going to economically sustain uh, all of this lot? What an absolute joke! Every time I look at this every day, it just it's just laughable. Seven transactions a second. And then the Lightning Network that starves the miners because they're not gagging, because they don't get any uh, financial reward from the uh, second layer solution. It's absolutely hilarious when you think about it. The lie is just so bad. So bad. Uh, here we go. A bit info chance. Oh, where are we this morning? Come on. 23.5 uh, and compared to XRP, that's 23.6. Oh. And Ethereum, uh, 35.6. Close one. Close one, but we know it's coming. We know it's coming. Let's have a look at the transactions. So we'll take out LTC. We'll take out BCH because we just don't need those pieces of crap anymore. Take out BTC because that's absolute crap as well. So we've only got um, XRP and Ethereum, the big dogs. Look at this at three months. See how close we're obviously. This is a bit behind, but always worth looking at because I just love it. I, we know it's coming. We know it's coming. Scaling test network, just checking the figures. Yeah, the biggest block, well, actually, the biggest block is 638 megabytes and highest transactions rate per second, 5,124 so far on the, on the main net. But look at that, the uh, scaling test network. Uh, actually, I wonder if this is better. This, see, look, highest transactions per second. The, uh, the, I think this must be out of date now. 
because we've seen 50,000 transactions a second. In fact, we've seen 100,000 transactions per second. So I'm guessing this uh, is now out of date. Hmm. All right, we'll have to find another chart then for the mornings. Interesting. Trends.cash, TDXP are being given a run for its money this morning. Only 37.6%. And then we've got reallyx.io and then other ones that we don't know about. Interesting. Interesting. City on chain, 3.1%. Uh, apps ranking by performed action though, crypto fights and run, absolutely macking it, absolutely macking it, loving that, loving that. Uh, crypto quant, yeah, the exchanges were cashing out and uh, Tether counteracted that by doing huge amounts of quantitative easing, but that combined with a, a squeeze in the liquidity caused a spike in the price and a massive bubble. It's really not looking good. Let's have a look at what's on chain. Here we go. What is on chain? Estimated next block size, 3.14 megabytes. Memory pool use is currently 9.28. Lovely jubbly. Let's have a look at Joho's memory pool. Beautiful. This is what a memory pool is meant to look like. Data comes in, then it gets cleared. Data comes in, then it gets cleared. Data comes in, then it gets cleared. Absolutely beautiful, like uniform. What it's not meant to look like is CoolCoin BTC. Look at that. That looks absolutely horrendous. A shambles all over the shop because it's been purposely restricted and the data just doesn't know what it's doing. It's hilarious. So we can see the effects of this on TX Street, but we'll just have a word with Adam back, the CEO of uh, Blockstream, and ask him about, about his expectations of a payment network. So, you know, fee estimation in some cases is quite bad. You know, if you're paying a friend, you can probably afford to wait four hours and not pay a priority fee. Oh, shut up, mate. I can't. That's absolutely ridiculous. And Vitalik, look at that median transfer fee. 58 cents. How do you respond to that, Vitalik? Can you tell us? The internet of money should not cost five cents a transaction. It's it's kind of absurd. Yeah, really. So what's fifty eight cents per transaction, you fool? <laughs> and let's have a look at our own problems here. Look at that, oh, dear oh dear. What do we know about excessive money printing? What does it do to the economy? Statistical analysis has found that every time an empire begins to near its own demise, you'll find that its currency will be debased. Oh dear, it's not looking good, is it? Knowing that Bitcoin is the only thing that can save us. How are we feeling about it today? Coin Gecko, 67. Oh, that was 85 yesterday, never mind. Bitping, let's have a look at money flow per hour, monitoring all these other networks because Bitcoin is the only network that is up 24 7 because it's an ultra small world mandala network that never goes down because of the distributed node network. Here we go, so 44 cents per hour. Uh, country's currently 49. Loving this. Love, uh, love watching Bipping. And the morning run. So trade volume $1.73. Good. Stay away from this, people. Move fast and break stuff does not mean breaking the law. And we've had uh, 798,896 purchases of Bitcoin in the last 24 hours. Loving that. Let's have a look at uh, uh, the depth chart on uh a coin watch live oh numbers going up uh, look at that though we've got uh, 4.1 million uh, asks versus 3.4 million bids so more uh, sellers than buyers at the moment so that means the price might run its way down but it looks like it's trending well at the moment good good let's have a look at bitcoin versus usd oh ooh. climbing climbing all right let's have a look at uh, core coin versus usd Oh, look at that. I think it's trying to stay in line with Bitcoin. Look at that. It's chasing Bitcoin. Look at that. All the trading bots going, what's going on? What's going on? Brilliant. Loving that. And uh, Bitcoin versus Core Coin. Here we go. Look at that. There's a depth chart down here, which is interesting. Look at that. So we've got more buyers. We've got more buyers of, uh, of Bitcoin than there are of uh, Core Coin right now. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, that's something I'd uh, I'd not spotted before. You know, give yourself a bit of time to look around and open your eyes a little bit. Loving that. Thank you very much, Bitfinex. Let's have a look at the overall uh, CMC. So a uh, cool coin up. Oh, it's 4.1% according to this one. Let's have a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin 126 up 2.8. But remember, none of these jokes of a coin have any fundamental value whatsoever. They're all security offerings. It's absolutely hilarious. Look, like Shiba Inu. Oh my god. Pancake swap. Sushi swap. Uni swap. Oh my god. Honestly, absolute joke. Solana proof of history. <laughs> Polkadot proof of concept. Dogecoin. 
Oh, honestly, just these are the these are the kind of people that we're dealing with that are in society. You know, it's really quite shocking. And uh, YouTube, let's have a look at my channel. Uh, current subscribers five nine six will be at six hundred soon, baby. Come on, bring it on. I oh, look at that yesterday's video ranking uh, second, almost almost at number one. Loving that. More people looking at my show. Um, one hundred and eleven views so far. Loving that. And uh, uh, streamanity. Made 60 cents on yesterday's video. Thank you very much. 289 followers. Almost at 300. Loving that. And uh, Twitch. I still made $93 in Twitch so far. Let's have a look at the Twitch statistics on Acorn Stack. Where are we? Here we go. Acorn Stack. New user 24 hours. Is it 13 again? Yeah, I think something's going wrong there. <laughs> uh, followers. Uh, 425. Let's have a look at, uh, let's check out Mama Bitcoin's tweet from uh, Ruth Eastman. Are we up to 1, uh, 1,080 will be good today? Who knows? Let's check it out. Let's see what uh, Twitter has done this morning, shall we? Uh, there she is. Bring this tweet up. Here we go. Where are we? 1,072. Oh, dear, dear. Liking that. Let's have a look at our man Zatoshi. Is it 80,000? Oh, 79.8. Close. And a stablecoin printer. Who's been printing what? Uh, Binance USD. Uh, USDC. More Binance USD. Oh, my goodness me. Look, 11 million. Good grief. Absolutely crazy. Right then, people. Uh, we are up to date with the figures. Hope you enjoyed the show. Shout outs to uh, Stubzug and Arcade Rob for joining me this morning. We're now up to date with the figures. Catch you guys later. Get paid for posting your pics on Relica. Download the app now at www.getrelica.com. Get your tweet etched on Twitch, forever on the Bitcoin blockchain. Do it today at www.jointwitch.com. Buy BSV.live, the best place to buy Bitcoin SV online. Support independent content creators on micropayment platforms such as Streamanity, Twitch and Relica. We should profit from our data, not the large corporations who track, monitor and sell it. If you enjoy the Bitcoin content that I produce, please support me by heading over to www.satoshi.tv where you can keep up to date with all the latest news, gossip and content as it's created. Thanks very much. To get started in Bitcoin, go to free.